Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. So we have new beginnings. It says first start with an open mind, knowing where you're, you lacked in the past, using that to create success, allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. So are you guys in an energy where you're fine, like you're like going to let, you know what I'm kind of getting? You guys have planted some type of seeds, but you know, things don't just grow and bloom and blossom overnight, right? Things take time. So there's something that's like an in, in incubation for you or that's in the works. And like, what is that saying? Like a watched pot never boils or whatever. What is that saying? It's like, there's a need for you guys to kind of like shift your focus onto something else, like focus on something new while these seeds that you have planted are in the works. They're blooming, they're sprouting, but maybe you guys have been watched, you know, what clinging too closely to the plant, the seeds you've planted, wanting it to happen right now, wanting it to happen quickly. And it doesn't work like that. And it's like, you've been clinging so much to that, that you've been maybe pushing away other good things from coming in. Right. So I feel like you guys are possibly getting into an energy where you like maybe just know that there are some things that like you want to happen for you, but they're just not supposed to happen yet. And that it's necessary for you to shift your focus to other things right now while those things are in incubation, while those things are in the works. And while, yeah, while other maybe other things need to take place first before you can have whatever this is. All right. So while by getting into that energy, you're also getting into an energy where you're open to receiving, open to new things coming in like because it says allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you so you guys may have like consciously or subconsciously been, been pushing out some things that would be good for you because you've been focused on whatever this is that's in still an in incubation that still needs some time that still needs some time to grow whether this is a connection or whatever this is a bit whatever it is all right um anything else let's do one more Ooh, I just saw the settling card, but it turned back over. What do they need to put some more? Ooh, so we have divine feminine. So it says, hmm, I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, and compassionate towards myself and others. I want to be more soft, loving, especially towards you. So somebody, I mean, this could be you, but I don't feel like it is you. I feel like there's somebody here, possibly somebody that you have a past life connection with. It says, when I am with you, I feel as if time just stops. It's just like, it's just me and you against the world. You feel like home to me and you understand me and I understand you. Somebody doesn't know what to say to you right now. Somebody knows that they've done you wrong. Somebody knows that they owe you an apology, but it's like they can't get the words out right now. This person's probably going through karma for something that they did to you. They're going through something very tumultuous. Could be an Aries for some of you. But yeah, it gets in trouble in various ways, plagued by depression and, and addictions. Or this is just the kind of life that this person lives. Unstable childhood and very difficult time loving themselves and others. You're dealing with somebody, guys, who you may have like a very deep soul connection with the, with them, but they're not ready for you. They're not ready to be open and vulnerable, and they're not ready to really nurture this connection and treat you the way that you, you're supposed to be treated. They're, they're, they're not ready. They need to get more into like, they need to kind of like heal their feminine side. They need to get more in tune with their feelings and emotions. They need to, yeah. So, but it's like, they're not ready yet. They're still maybe healing or they still have yet to start healing. But I feel like it's already in the process because look, this seed, and for some of you, it's, make, it's more progress than you probably even think. Because look at all this seed, it's already got like a sprout here. So this person has definitely made some type of progress and healing their their feminine their feminine energy or yeah and healing and becoming more vulnerable and like getting more to a place where they'll be able to open their heart to you mm -hmm. they're growing growing they are huh all right tell me more let's get into the tarot all
All right, so we have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. The Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Clarify Temperance in reverse, the Lovers, Gemini energy. Clarify the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Two of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Clarify the Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody is learning and somebody is growing. Mm -hmm. Somebody may even reach out to you and say that they, want, they are working on themselves or they're working on something or they want to work on this with you. Yeah, um, Temperance Reverse and the Lovers. It's like this, can, it's just, there's an imbalance here. There needs to be healing for there to be divine union. It's like there's not enough healing here yet for there to be this divine union. So you could be fit growing very impatient with this. Seven of Wands reverse, two of Wands reverse. Hmm. Somebody was two of Swords reverse, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's coming towards you. It's like they've already made up their mind that they're in, they're on their way to you. But with the Knight, the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest Knight, so this is gonna take them some time. They've made up their mind that they want to come towards you and give you something solid. But they're moving very slowly towards you because they're in the process of learning here. Yeah, they're learning lessons here, working on something. They could even be working on their finances. I don't think this person wants to fight with you. Yeah, they don't want to fight with you. Um, What is the temperance reverse and the lovers? The six of swords reverse. Okay, is there something that... Yeah, stuck in turmoil, running away, trap, returning or trouble. Yeah, unable to move on. What's this mean for like my collective? The three of wands. You got, I'm telling you, you guys were waiting for something and you grew impatient or you're growing impatient. Some of you guys were having a really hard time moving on from this person. I feel like you're finally getting to that point though, but you guys were definitely waiting for this person. It's like you guys are giving up on this. What you thought you and this person were going to have together or what you thought this was going to evolve to, it's just not happening there. So I feel like you guys are in this energy of giving up to it, but with giving this situation up. And that's why you're opening up to the possibility of like something new coming in, exploring other options, whatever. But what you don't know is that somebody has made up their mind about you. Somebody is very dead set on you. That's what I feel drawn to say. Somebody's very dead set on coming in and offering you something solid here. Yeah, wanting something committed with you, but it's just not going to be right now. Say about the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, inability to let go. What's up to do with my collective? The Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to reach out to you because they don't feel like they can let you go. What is the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the Two of Cups. I'm telling you, somebody is not going to be able to let you go. This person views you as somebody that they want to come together with, somebody that they love, um, somebody that they want to, yeah, they want a bond with you. They want unity with you. So are they reaching out to say this? The Queen of Wands. So we have Aries, Leo, Sag energy. What about the Queen of Wands? The Five of Cups in reverse. I don't know. I just feel like you guys are in this energy where you're very confident and you are, you're very independent and self-assured. And you're very, it's like you are starting to heal and you're trying, starting to overcome this. You were probably really stuck on this for a long time, but you're finding peace and accepting the situation for what it is. And it's like, what does that mean for whoever this person is? Judgment. See, they're, it's waking them up. Yeah, it's like something about you guys finding your independence and the confidence to kind of stand on your own and just forgive them, forgive yourself, move on, overcome this situation, accept it for what it is, is giving this person kind of like a wake up call here. It's kind of pushing them, not that you're doing it intentionally, but it is, it's pushing this person, it's making them, it's waking them up and it's giving them a wake up call and it's making them feel like they got to do something. It's making them want to resurrect this situation it's like it's really pushing them to make a decision to take a leap of faith here aquarius energy with the fool yeah the sun what about the sun the emperor in reverse it's 
it's like this person knows that there's positivity with you. There's warmth with you. There's happiness with you. But what's the problem here with the Emperor in reverse? They're being too much of a control freak. Whereas sometimes maybe you guys were trying to for well, what's the emperor have to do with this person? Somebody's ego is keeping them from taking the sleep of faith, although they know that they would be happy with you. Why? Cancer energy here too, the devil, because <laughs> the ace of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy, heartache. What's that do my collective? The world. The king of wands. The queen of pentacles in reverse. This person knows. Oh. This person knows that they're going to have to put an end to whoever this person that they've been to be with you. They know. Yeah, this person knows that they can't be in this devil energy and also be with you. Like they, And it's like this person knows that they're going to hurt you too. They are very well aware that if they stay in this and like with them in the energy that they're in right now, that they're going to hurt you. They're going to cheat or something here, or they're going to, they're, it's just this person knows that you don't tolerate certain things. They know that you don't tolerate certain things. And it's like, it's almost like this person knows that you have no problem leaving them. You have nothing because you are so independent and self-sufficient, there's like nothing. It, if, you, if this person is in this toxic energy, you will have no problem walking away from them. But somebody is definitely is wanting to reconcile with you, possibly after they walked away from you. Or they're walking away from something else to be able to invest in you and reconcile with you. Hmm. They de What is this lesson that they learned? They learned some type of lesson here. The moon. And that came out sideways. They're, they're learning a lesson and not listening to their intuition. Yeah. It could have landed them in some type of very one-sided situation where they were being used or something like that. But that's coming to an end. Whatever was keeping them from being able to fully commit to you, it looks like that situation is coming to an end. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Tell me more about what's going on here. Ooh, well, the regret card slid out, so they're definitely regretful. Tell me more about what's the current status of this situation. In a nutshell, what this reading is saying is that, like, you guys are step. I see you stepping away from something. You guys may be even entering a new relationship or just open to the possibility, like, embarking down a new path right now. But what you guys don't, you may know, you may not know, is that there's something, some type of seed that you planted, something that you were trying to manifest. You guys set the intention for it. You did something. It's in the works. Like, it's happening. Like, just say this person that's coming through, you were like, prayed or you set an intention that you were that you and this person would be able to come together the right way and that they would change and you guys could have prayed this you planted the seeds spirit says it's still manifesting whether you want it or not now now you have free will you don't have to take this person back right but this is why it was necessary for you to walk away from this person for right now because you were starting to lose your identity in them you feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love you were so busy trying to convince this person of their worth or love them and convince them to see your worth and to see the value of you in this connection that you didn't realize that like you were losing yourself and trying to do that for that person. You were, you were not getting your needs met. You were not getting what you deserve by trying to give this person what convince them to, to accept what they, that they do deserve you, that they do deserve better. They, they were not, they were neglecting you and you were neglecting yourself. That's why this had to come to an end. We do have perfectly imperfect here. It says the love you have for them allow if the love you have for them allows you to accept their flaws. What did I just say? The love you have for them allows you to accept their flaws and accept them for exactly as they are without trying to change them. So it's like you guys still love this person, but you're coming to the reality that this person you can't force them to change. This is who they are right now. That they may change, they may evolve into a different version of themselves, but this is who they are right now. 
and you can't force this person to change all you can do is just accept them for who they are and if they're not good for you and they're not treating you the right way you can love them from a distance you can wish them the best and love them from a distance but you don't have to have them in your life especially if it's causing you to lose yourself so it was very necessary for you guys to come to that decision but we do have passing soulmate here we have runner some soulmates don't last forever. However, however, they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. Your love interest doesn't want to be involved for whatever reason. Don't mistake their, their running for a twin flame connection and try to force it. So what is this purpose? I see something is going to, what's this going to end up like? See, divine timing. So what does passing soulmate mean for this connection? See, detour. I'm telling you. Some of you guys are going to start dating somebody else. It's not somebody that you're going to be with long term or they are maybe dating somebody else. I was actually getting this down. Like, guys, I get downloads all day, every day. And I kept hearing in my head detour. It was it's a detour. I was hearing it in my head yesterday. But what you need to know about detours, guys, is that like it may take you down a different path. But what does it do? It leads you to the same place. Right. So it's like even if they are going off and they're dating another person. Spirit is saying that all it's doing is deleting them back to you, but maybe possibly in the in a better way, in the right way, right? And maybe this was just a hidden blessing. It may not seem like it. You know what I mean? Them going off and dating another person, choosing somebody over you, just not choosing you. Whatever they chose over you or they whatever they did, it may not seem like a blessing, but Spirit says it's a hidden blessing. You are being asked to go in a new direction. You will be amazingly surprised by the detour. It will be unknown territory for you. You're going to be dealing with a passing soulmate. But Spirit says even this person has meaning to your journey and to their journey. Like you guys are in encountering each other in this way for a reason. I'm going to read this again. Some soulmates don't last forever. However, they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. Because you're dealing with this person right here. Yeah, who is like for some reason choosing not not choosing you right now. I don't know if this this could be your twin, could not be your twin, but spirit is heavy on the don't force it. And I feel like you guys are finally at that point where you're not trying to force this person to be with you or to do right by you. And just trusting in divine timing. Because this card says behind every twin flame journey, there's a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't focus on when, but how you can learn from it. Yep, so you're in separation. This is somebody you've been on and off with. You and this person go through this running and these chasing phases, right? I feel like for you were the chaser and they were the runner, right? Now you guys are kind of, I'm not saying you're running from this person, but you have stopped chasing them. Guess what this person is about to start doing? You and your twin flame, it, whatever connection this is, twin flame, soulmate, whatever. You may switch back and forth between two roles, often out of fear of experiencing true intimacy, we have separation. Separating from your soulmate can be painful, but let your pain be a catalyst for change. Go deep within yourself. So Spirit is saying that like this running and chasing dynamic was not only because this person has issues with vulnerability. They need to heal their feminine side. Maybe you did as well. Maybe you guys, this separation is trying to help you improve your relationship with yourself. All right. To meet yourself deeper, to, to meet yourself at a more intimate level, because there is some type of part of you that has an issue with intimacy just like this person maybe not as severe but there is something there okay but we have the test here you're establishing boundaries testing your limitations how you resolve these conflicts will determine if you'll be able to stay together we have control issues heavy on that that keeps coming through in this reading whether you are being controlled or the one controlling recognize that you are being asked to play and then graduate from to serve each other's evolution Mm, so somebody here, so yeah, soul activation, you're awakening to your soul purpose and claiming your place in the world, feeling inspired to showcase your gifts and talents. So, yeah, this person, somebody was staying in a relationship and I don't feel like it was you. It was you. It could be you. Take how it resonates, but this is whoever you're dealing with. They're still, they're in a situation with another person, whether it's a child that they have with this person or there's some type of responsibilities or money that is keeping them stuck in a situation with a person that they do not love, that they don't want to be with, right? That they do not genuinely want to be with, but they're staying there for the wrong reasons. It says the love is lost, but bound by responsibilities, whether it's children, joint assets, or financial reasons. Hopefully an exit plan is put into effect. 
So while this person is trying to get, they need, that's a, that's a part of their lessons is them trying to finally make the decision to remove themselves from a situation where they're not fulfilled, right? Them planning their exit plan, executing their exit plan. That's what they need to be dealing with. And while they're doing that, I feel like you guys are going to be focused on your gifts and your talents and your hobbies. But that's the card I saw. That was the first card I saw that flipped out. Living in the past with regrets can take a toll on your mental health. Start making positive choices to live a happy and empowered life. All right, hold on. Something flew. Where'd that go? Oh, okay. We have safe space and we also have romantic offer. They will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side. And we have romantic offer. Expect a romantic gesture from, that could surprise you. Perhaps an engagement or taking things to the next level. So celebrate your union. Huh? Incompatibilities on the back of the deck. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, finding someone you're compatible with is, key, is the key to avoid a very challenging connection. Hmm. See, somebody is attached to somebody here. This could even be the per the, the, the the soulmate, the, the passing soulmate, who you may be, you may, this person that's your passing soulmate, you may have thought that this was your twin flame at some point. If loving them leaves you feeling drained, incompatible in many ways, or deep down you know something is not right, they are not your twin. See, there's somebody here, guys, that you may like, have be like really, like you and this person may be better off as friends or something like that, or you may realize that. Don't walk into tunnel vision on the romantic love as the only possibility for this situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends. I don't think this is your twin flame. Yeah, you're maybe going to have a decision to make between two people. Or this is even, maybe this is for you and this person. Maybe they have a decision to make between you and somebody else. And you'll have a decision to make between them and somebody else. But who you're dealing, they're dealing with a false twin flame. And you're dealing with a false twin flame. I hope that that makes sense, guys. And you guys may have not even met this person yet. It could be an ex that's coming back. I don't know. But it's somebody that maybe you thought was your person or you will think is your person. But you'll start to realize that it just doesn't feel right. Like it's maybe somebody that you may end up just being friends with. For a lot of you, I feel like whoever this passing soulmate is, is somebody you already know. You've already dealt with this person to some degree. Mm-hmm. It's like there's a connection there, but it just doesn't feel like the connection that you have with whoever this is. Because whoever this person is, is probably your true person, your, your, your twin, whatever, whoever they are. There's like two different energies here. Okay, so what does safe space and romantic offer have to do with my collective? We have traps, see? There's a sense of guilt for betraying and leaving your karmic partner. There is karma between you that must be resolved and should be resolved. So does your person feel guilty about leaving this other person? They feel guilty about leaving this other person. They feel trapped there. I'm telling you. Why? Is it because of ghosting? It can be difficult to hear, but if someone is ghosting you and doesn't want to be with you, they are reflecting a lack of your own self-worth. Pulling you up. You will encourage each other. What does it do with my collective? Hesitation. Their hesitation is causing inaction due to fears of rejection because of their previous behavior. This person knows they did you dirty, telling you that's why they're not taking action towards you. They, and they don't fully trust this connection either. They feel, why do they feel trapped with the other person though? It's like they're, see, chart compatibility. There's somebody here who you are really compatible with. And there's somebody here that you're not quite compatible with. Whoever the one is that you're compatible with, the one that you're supposed to be with, is the person that's going to be going through this dark night of the soul. I'm telling you, could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, a period of spiritual de desolation, disconnection, and emptiness inside. I'm telling you, it's the one that you're in separation with, who has this third party that they feel trapped with, that is going through this dark night of the soul, who you've planted the seeds with. That's the one that you're really going to end up or supposed to be with. Or that's the one where you have the deep emotion for. It's this other person. You're going to have, there's another person in the mix. I feel like on their end and possibly on your end too. That you're going to just only be dealing with temporary, temporarily. Or you, it was only meant to be temporary. But some of you may be holding on to somebody too long. Or they've been holding on to somebody too long. All right. I hope that that makes sense. All right. I hope that that makes sense.